Hello, my name is Greg Bem, and I'm one of the librarians at Spokane Community College. In this video, I'm going to provide a brief demonstration of the user interface for Gamma. Gamma is a fun, generative AI tool that can create slideshows in a very quick way. In this video, I'll first explore what's on the main screen when you load Gamma for the first time at gamma.app. The upper left will provide you with the count information when you click on the drop down. And you can also create workspaces with additional members and collaboration tools. Uh, there is an announcements button. And then you have several tabs here your gammas or presentations shared with you. And then you can also create websites. Uh, beneath that, there are folders, templates, inspiration, themes, custom fonts, trash, how many credits you have remaining, uh, settings and members again, and uh, contact support, share feedback, and upgrade to Gamma Pro. Let's go back to Gammas. In the main part of this screen, you can organize your list of presentations as a list or a grid. Um, you have all of the piles of the former gammas you've created in the middle. You have the ability to create a new gamma, and that's primarily with AI, but you can do it manually as well. And then you can also import uh, and transform files, or you can just import text from documents, presentations, and more. So gamma is balancing between their AI features and simply an interface for creating and modifying slideshows. Without showing you the past slideshows I've created, I'm going to create a new slideshow. If I click on that, create with AI, I have the ability to paste in text from something I've previously created, create from a one-line prompt in a few seconds, or import. And then it gives me my recent prompts. And I did the same prompt twice across two different time periods just as a test for haiku history. I'm going to ignore haiku today. Instead, think about Spokane. So when I create a prompt from AI, I have the ability to create a presentation, a website, or a document. The presentation is how I know Gamma, though I, I see that it's emerging into a bigger content platform. Uh, when I am creating a presentation, I have the ability to create multiple cards or slides. If I want to do more than 10, I need Pro. And then I have the ability to do these slides in different languages. I can describe what I want to make with the prompt bar or use example prompts to get me start started. A recent history of Spokane, Washington. Generate the outline. So the fun thing about Gamma is that you generate the outline first, and then it will fill everything in. So you can think about it as essentially building out sub prompts, which it will then use to generate the additional content within the presentation. So we've got an intro, early days, Expo 74, and so on, up into today, a thriving modern city. We can add more cards, more slides, if we want. And you can see that there is length in tokens, which is essentially the resources being used. The more complex and the more quantity of um, the slides or the cards, the more tokens it will use. And then there's some settings for our slideshow, amount of text per card, image source, and it can create images or it can find them on the web, which is nice. Image style, let's do black and white watercolor. And then image model, is so it has a variety of models, including uh, our familiar stable diffusion and DALI, but some additional ones as well. Um, let's stick with the default, which is available for free, which is Playground 
There's also an advanced mode, which opens up even more options. And, oh, am I going to be able to go back in there without advanced mode? Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to continue, and it says this will cost 40 credits. I have 320 credits right now. As I create it, it is going to first tell me about my theme. So this is a theme preview. On the right, I can pick a theme. I might just have it go with this theme for the sake of simplicity. And then I will click Generate. It opens a new screen. And it's a very beautiful purple and pink theme. And it's amazingly creating all of these cards, as it calls them. And meanwhile, it's also generating the images. You can see that it generates the text card by card. If we look at the left sidebar, it is generating images for the slides as well. It just takes a little bit longer. Then it brings us to the very bottom of the presentation and says, like what you created. And it gives us the ability to reflect on our output here. But let's actually see how it went. Let's scroll all the way up to the top. And let's notice that without really commenting on the full accuracy of the city, we have this nice um, opening slide, Spokane's origins, and so on. Not all of the images are black and white, but they do all appear to be watercolor style. So that's something. And one thing that is worth noting is that at least in the free version, I'm not sure about the paid version, there are no sources. So adding sources would be something to consider, either building that into the prompt uh, or adding it as a card um, beneath the initial cards that were generated and seeing what happens there um, or doing it manually. Um, if we add a card with AI, we can put an additional prompt if we wanted to, and it would give us some additional ideas and additional um, options for the style of the card. We can change our theme, we can share, we can present, we can also get some options for presenting. And then if we want, we can even export. And we have the ability to export to PDF, which is nice. And then there are some additional options on the right for design. So overall, that is Gamma. And that is how Gamma creates presentations, slideshows. In just a couple of minutes, you go from no slideshow to a fairly robust slideshow. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, send us a message. Talk to the librarians at Spokane Community College. Thank you and have a nice day.